Welcome to another screen recording about the 10 Competence Infrastructure. This time we want to have a look at the QTI editor. We add the application from the 10 Competence folder to our page. I shift it to the middle so that we can see it a little bit better. Here you see an overview about existing QTI tests available. So here we add a new one. We say vocabulary test, test 2, that's the title, and we can select which test results we will present to the candidate. We can choose the number of correct responses, the number of incorrect responses, the number of selected questions, and the overall percentage of correct answers. For demonstration purposes, we select all. In addition, we can add a specific feedback, depending on results. With a minimum score of 0 0.3, we can give the feedback, for example, not bad, but maybe you can do better next time. With 0 0.6, we can say good, but there is room for improvement. And with 0 0.9, we can say, perfect, well done. In addition, we have to select the type of question we want to pose. We can select between multiple choice questions, multiple response questions, Likert scales, yes or no questions, open questions, fill in the blank, and inline choices. For demonstration purposes, we just choose the multiple choice text. Translate this. How do you translate the word head into Dutch? So, option one is hood. Option 2 is hoofed. You can say which is correct and give a feedback depending on the question. You can also delete questions and save it. And save everything. So you see, we have another vocabulary test added based on the QTI editor. If we want to embed this test, we have to choose the test application in the 10 competence folder. So we edit here and select in the preferences the right test. And here you see the test embedded. How do you translate the word head into Dutch? And it's hoofed. You submit it you get feedback and you get the statistics presented. This was a short overview about the QTI editor and the 10 Competence Infrastructure.